and Turner in half an hour. That's after another visit to Emmerdale. So we've got to try and find out, sort of like, what's going on. I can't get my head round it, man. It's some coffee, you know? Yeah, just, just tread carefully, because he's very touchy around the whole subject. We need to try and tease it out of him, agreed? Oh, tread carefully and tease it out of him. So, Biff, um, me and Marlow are wondering, what's up with you and Kathy? Hey. Roy! I just reckon it's about time you stop psyching yourself up and told her how you feel about it. Oh, right, cos you two are such experts on relationships. But what, what Roy's trying to say is that we are mates, we'd all like to see you hurting. Just tell the truth. I guarantee you won't regret it. You guarantee me? You've already told her, haven't you? Well, give that man a cigar. And she turned you down? She told me that she just thinks of me as a friend. Ah, that's exactly what Kelly said to me. We'll just be friends. Look at us now. You see, the thing with women, mate, I like to play the time, you know, think it through. Right, are you lecturing me about women? Hey, there's no need to thank me. Well, do me a favour, will you? Keep your opinions to yourself from now on, all right? Rachel, time to go. Oh, uh, Zoe's giving me a couple of hours off at lunchtime so I can move the rest of my stuff in. Uh, so I'll be well and truthfully move back in. Hey, back in the dingle bosom. Yeah, feels good, eh? Yeah. Oh, oh uh, I'm going to buy a couple of CDs as well so Hello? I can start building up the collection again. Must you? Hey. Yeah, this is the dingle I'm sure. Love me. Love my music. Yeah. That's oh. a very dangerous thing coming from a Beach Boys fan. <laughs> She says she knows you're here and she, she's desperate. <clears throat> yeah? Patrick, love, I know you're angry with me, but... Oh, you noticed that? Well done. Please, just listen. I'm unwell. Mum, I've heard all this before. I'm not even remotely interested. No, this is serious. Patrick, please, I need to talk to you. <sighs> right, well, well, let me do the talking, Mum. Whatever you've got to say, I don't want to hear it. I, I have no intention of coming to visit you, so... Is that clear? Patrick, don't you care about me at all? Patrick? Bye, man. I don't yeah, think this is the right time, OK? Just go in there and talk to her. Go on! What do you think? I think that she's all wrong. Oh, my God! Oh, no! She's hard not to cry. The question is how he's going to react. Mm -hmm. I've forgotten something. She's weak, then. Just playing hard to get. It's fascinating, is this? Cut shit rituals. Cathy, what's wrong? What? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, just call me paranoid, but I think you're trying to avoid me. No. Cathy, friends, like we are, we're supposed to feel comfortable around each other. Biff, I am too busy for this. All right, let me get this straight, then. You say that you're my friend, OK? But you're not behaving like that right now. Doesn't it occur to you that you're the one who's messed things up here? Me? We're close friends and then suddenly out of the blue you're trying to change everything. Yeah, because I want to change things for the better. Cathy, I've felt like this for a while and I still think that you feel the same. Well, you're wrong. I meant what I said, Biff. I am happy with our relationship as it is. I don't want it to change. Don't shake your head at me. I didn't want you to kiss me. I wish it hadn't happened. Is that clear enough for you? Me and some of the boys are going to Emmerdale for lunch. Anyone up for it? Sean and I are too busy. Yeah, I could murder a pint. Sean, we've got a lot on here. I'll catch up later. You coming? Aren't we going to cramp your style with your new woman? It takes a lot to cramp my style. Isn't he irresistible? I'm having to hold myself back. 
Hey, don't get too serious about Kathy if I was you. Oh? She tends to go more for the white-collar workers. So. Funny. That's not the impression she's given me. Come on, then, you babe magnet. That's the last of my stuff. I'm officially living back with you. Mm, hold on. What? Back well, come on, babe. <laughs> that was so oh, yeah. cute, up especially. I can't believe I never lost you. This is where I'm meant to be. Now listen to me. If you're even slightly worried about your mum, I want to know about it. I'm not. No, don't say that so quickly. If she's ill and you want to see her, then I'll understand. I mean, she's still your mum, even if she doesn't need a long bat. <laughs> right. She's not ill. She's just playing games. She wants me to go running back to her, but it's not going to happen. She's not going to come between us ever again. Thanks all round, Sean. A pint for me and six orange juices, please, mate. Orange oh, oh, juices. Oh, right. Where have you all appeared from? Hot. I'm a partner in a haulage firm. Local man. Who's that? Chris Tate. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, that'll be £6.20, please, sir. You know him, then? Well, let's just say I'm not surprised you need a drink. You work in the office? No. So, well, that lot's your boyfriend, then? I drive a truck. Do you? What do blokes think of that? Cos most of the men I know, I reckon they'd be a bit put off by it. Oh, well, maybe I should have been his secretary. No, I'm not saying that. Maybe a taxi driver, though. Be a sort of compromise, wouldn't it? If you say trucker, you think bloke, don't you? Well, any man who's put off by something like that's a waste of time anyway. In the second place, I don't give a toss because I'm a dyke. Oh, right. Well, you're sorted then, ain't you? Eh? Your boss's sister's a lesbian too, and she's loaded. You fancy that bloke? Well, you're straight, aren't you? So why don't you fancy him? Oh, I get it. You're a lesbian. Zoe's a lesbian. But that doesn't necessarily mean you fancy her. Well done. What's your name? Trisha. But just so you know, good girl for you. Ooh. Are we having lunch? No, I'm busy. Are you all right? You've been uptight all weekend. We need to talk. You're not letting the kids upset you, are you? You look great. I feel good every time I look at you. Graham, please. You've got a free period after lunch, haven't you? Yes. Come and see me in the office. Are you going to tell me what this is about? See if you can guess. Do you mind? What? I know exactly what you're doing. I'm just getting a menu. Would you move, please? I wonder why being so close to me has an effect on you. I guess it's just like my personal space. Funny that, isn't it? Kathy, you're not being honest to yourself and you're not being fair to me. Let's at least talk about it. All right, Kathy. Hi, Pete. Nice to see you. Look, I can't stop. The others are waiting for me in Woolpack. I was just wondering if you fancy dinner tonight. Another night out. Sure you'll manage? Yeah, I'd like that. Great. Pick you up at seven. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to it. See you later. Yeah, see you later. Kathy. Got a date, Biff. Aren't you happy for me? So, what's this about? What's it about? Oh, I thought you liked the new look. Grant, if you 
you're not willing to discuss this seriously, then I don't think we've got a future together. OK, I can see you're offended. I'll give Stella a call right now and we'll see what she can do. Happy? <laughs> you don't even want to talk about it, do you? Look, I like this hairstyle, OK? Why is this such a big deal? Can you imagine how I felt when I saw that picture of your wife? You know, that's something I've always had a problem with, working out how women feel. You want to give me a few guesses? Right. Calm down. I'm sorry. You should be. My wife is still important to me. I understand that. I would have just appreciated being told that you were going to give me a hairstyle. <sighs> but I didn't realise. Rachel, you have to trust me on this. Do you understand that? I'm upset. Yes. Yes, I do. I want you to love me for... for who I am. And I do. I do love you, Rachel. You're very good for me. I look back now on how I was after my wife died and... I can only describe it as a sort of breakdown. Well, I want to be there to help you, but... I don't want to be part of your therapy. You are helping. <sighs> It was only after I met you that I, I started to believe I could put all this behind me and move on. I just... I don't like feeling manipulated. Look, in the future, will you, will you promise me that you'll be open with me and not try and organise my life as much? I promise. This means a lot to me, Rachel. That we can get through little problems like this together. Yeah, well, we're making a start. Anyway, I have to prepare for a class. Yes, I'll see you but... later. Yeah, bye. Hello, Zoe. Patricia? I, uh, met one of your lot earlier. A vet? No, a trucker. I'm not with you. She was a lesbian. Oh. Of course, you won't necessarily fancy her. Sorry? Just because you're one, it doesn't mean you'd fancy her, does it? Same as I don't fancy all men. I was following you there, Tricia. Right up until the last part. What do you mean? Well, on the evidence so far, you do fancy all men. Seriously, mate, I could put in a word. Marlon, I don't think it's going to help, OK? Well, just have another go, then. Look, she's made her feelings pretty clear. No, she hasn't. Betty, I told you what she said. A little tip, lad. Look into her eyes. She's saying one thing, but she's feeling another. Too late. Leave him to me. Go get her. It's, um, Pete, isn't it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, now, what? You're all right. You know what they say, don't you? There's no such thing as strangers. Only friends that haven't yet met. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, tell me about yourself, Pete. Uh, I've been thinking about what you said. Yes. I should never have kissed you. That's right. Why are you staring at me? You wish this had never happened? That's what I said. Well, silly of me, really. I kind of got the feeling that you were enjoying it at the time. And this is where you tell me I got it completely wrong. Yeah, well, maybe... Yeah? Maybe you're right. Maybe I enjoyed it. Biff, I meant it when I said I'm sorry it happened. No, but why? Because your friendship's too important to me. I don't want to risk it. Well, I, I just I want to get this straight, all right? Because if, if you want to pretend that it never happened, then this friendship that you care so much about is just going to be based on a lie. No, it won't. It'll be based on two adults reaching an understanding. Well, you think you understand, but from where I'm standing, you're just turning your back on it. You're turning your back on us. Yeah. Aren't you forgetting about Pete? Are you saying that you would rather have a relationship with Pete than with me? Be because if... If the answer's yes, then I'll... I'll back off. Sorry about that. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready.
send me the bill. Oh, I will. Can I help you? I'm looking for Paddy Kirk and a friend of the family. Well, Paddy's on an emergency job. Um, is it important? His mother's here. Oh. She's desperate to see him. I don't think he feels the same. Well, could we wait for him? Well, I'm not sure how long he's going to be. Please. I've never seen Mrs Kirk like this. It's very important to her. Um, well, you better wait in the house. Thank you. I'll just go and fetch her. Why didn't she come in with you? I'll just get her. Oh, thank you. I didn't expect to be so late. Dinner's in the oven. I've made a decision. Yes? I'm going to keep my hair in this style. You know, I liked it before I knew why you'd chosen it. So, I guess I'll get used to it. Fine. The meal should be ready in five minutes. <laughs> You're not very good at talking things through, are you? We're not going to have another argument, are we? Oh, no. I've had a long day. I just want to sit back and relax. That's what I had in mind. <laughs> Um, Graham, you... have you moved my television? You were saying the other day Joseph watches it too much, weren't you? Whereas we hardly watch it at all. Yeah. So I took it to a charity shop. You gave my television away? This isn't going to be a big issue, is it? G Graham, we were only saying earlier on today about... about you not organising me too much. When I get a good idea, I act on it. And right now, I think we should eat. Just relax. And let me look after you. What I like best is being on my own, in the cab in the middle of the night with the radio on, and an almost empty road. I also like running down school children and stray dogs. Oh, I'm sorry, Pete. What were you saying? I haven't been boring you, have I? No. No, you haven't. I'm just a bit tired. Is something on your mind? No. No, not at all. It's just been a long day. I want you to enjoy yourself. I've been really nervous about this evening, you know. I've had Chris warning me off, your friend Betty checking me out. Pete, you're a lovely guy. No, it's not you. I guess I'm just not on top form, that's all. Well, look, tell you what. Why don't we have some dessert and then go on to a club? A bit of music will soon wake you up. Actually, do you know what I'd really like? What? Anything. I'd like to go home. Oh, Paddy, at last! Sorry, Tom Davis is so great for insisting. What's the problem? Your mother's in the cottage. She's been here for two hours. You better go and ask her to leave. Paddy. Get rid of her. I told her I didn't want to see her again and I meant it. Paddy, I think you should talk to her. Oh, I've had all this she's your mother, even though she's a cow business off Mandy and off. Oh, so even and... Mandy thinks you can't just pretend she doesn't exist. I don't want to be like this, Zoe. It's not easy for me, but that woman tried to ruin my life. And I don't think I can cope with her anymore. Just talk to her. Um, I'd ask you in, only. Cathy, I'm too old to play games. What does that mean? I'd just like to be clear. This is a brush off, isn't it? It's not you. It's me. There's something I've got to sort out. Like what? I'm sorry, Pete. It's another bloke, isn't he? I hope you treat him better than you treated me. Hello, Patrick. <laughs> what have you done? Sprained your ankle. Would you mind leaving us for a moment? They can stay. 
We'll go, it's no problem. Well? This is difficult for me, Patrick. I haven't got all day, Mum. But there's something you need to know. Go on. It's nothing I understand, I'm afraid. There's some Latin name for it, but... It affects my circulation. I I'm a heart. What? That's why I've been feeling so lethargic. What, 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 what are you trying to say? What? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not making myself very clear, am I? The fact of the matter is that the doctors aren't very hopeful. What do you mean? I, I don't want you to get upset, Patrick. It's just that I think it's important that I make my peace with you. I've been a terrible mother. I just hope there's enough time for us to get to know each other again. Enough time? Yes, the doctors think I have about six months. Come in, come in. Uh, this upstairs, but we should be down soon. I think we'll need a few minutes. Yeah, I'm sure. I'll, I'll disappear. What? I just, I don't want to, I don't want to butt in, but it just, I just sort of feel right, and, and Betty feels the same. Marlon, will you get to the point? Kathy, I really care about you. And uh, don't tell Biff I said this, but he's, he's almost like a brother to me, you know? And I know you expect me to take the mick, but just just for once, I want, I want to see things turn out the way they're meant to. Meaning? Boy meets girl, OK? Boy and girl fall in love. You know the rest. Yeah. I'll go, then. Shall... Yeah, I'll go. Well, and it gives you my jacket. Hi, Biff. Kathy. Just been having a chat with Marlon. What did he say? Nothing. Nothing for you to worry about. Good. You don't need to listen to a word he says. Actually, I came here to talk to you. Yeah? I've just been out with Pete. And? And, um... I like him, but... You came here to tell me that? No. I was sitting opposite him over this very nice meal, and while he was talking to me, I was spending the whole time thinking about you and about what you've been saying and about that kiss. Well, I bet he wasn't too pleased. See, for a long time I've thought of you as a mate, a close friend who I can confide in and rely on and just have fun with. It's been difficult to think of you as something more. <clears throat> you've said all this before, Cathy. What's your point? I'm nervous about this, Bev. I really don't know if it's sensible. Why? What are you nervous about? But I think when you've been given a chance of happiness, you have to take it because it might not come again. Uh, d just a minute. I, I just want to get this straight. Are you saying that you and me... Yes. I want you to be sure. I don't want you to rush into things. Bev, shut up. Everdale's back at the same time tomorrow night. <laughs>